Hey, welcome to the video. My name is Phil, and today we're talking about a new software on the market called Profile Mate. Now, in this Profile Mate review, I'm going to be walking through what this tool is, what it actually does, and how it can actually benefit you. Now, if you haven't yet got Profile Mate, um, what I'm actually doing is creating some bonus training after this video, which I'm going to be giving to people that use my affiliate link to purchase Profile Mate, of course, at no extra uh, cost to you. And what the training is going to be about is basically how I'm going to be using it with uh, affiliate marketing as well as cold email marketing. So make sure if you haven't yet got it to secure those bonuses. Right. So profile mate, what is profile mate? Now, I believe most people are going to be using it as an email extraction tool for Instagram. Basically, what it does is you log in using one of your accounts. It actually suggests you to start a new one. I'll show you what I've done in a second. But what it does is it goes into Instagram under one of these accounts. It'll scrape all the information based on the targeting that you actually go for. So it could be uh, someone who liked a post or it could be a list of followers or it could be anything like that. Hashtags, locations, you name it, it's got it. And basically what it's going to do is scrape as much information from that profile as you set it to, right? So we're talking names, bios, locations, phone numbers, email addresses, follow account, likes count, all that sort of stuff. There's so many good uh, little information data, like things we can actually take from it. So um, it is a really powerful tool. Now I've actually used a few different tools like Profile Mate recently. And I think Profile Mate is probably the easiest to use. Uh, the other ones required things like proxies, building all these accounts. You know, it's a bit of a headache. While uh, Profile Mate actually makes things nice and simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump behind the screen. I'm actually going to show you uh, how Profile Mate actually works, and then give you a few ideas of how you can actually use it for yourself. So what I'm going to do now, jump behind the screen. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so here we are on the homepage of Profile Mate. It may change in the near future because they have actually just launched. Unfortunately, I missed out on their launch pricing, which was um forty-seven dollars one off. It's now sixty-seven, which I'll just show you. Um, but I still bought it at this price anyway. It's a powerful tool for what you're actually paying. Now it's just one time forever, um, so absolutely powerful. So. Profile mate, this is the back office. Once you join up, once again, if you want the bonuses, links in the description. Uh, once you join up, you're gonna come to this page here, right? And there's only two steps to really get things set up. First of all is actually installing the Profile Mate Chrome plugin, which I have so here. And once you uh, download the plugin and actually log in, it's going to look like this, right? So this is actually a Chrome extension. And basically, these two videos on the welcome dashboard are just telling you how to quickly set up. This one's talking about uh, Chrome and actually adding an Instagram account. Um, basically, what you have to do is they recommend you get a brand new Instagram account so you can just create um, on any email that you have an uh, alias for, you know, uh, just a name, uh, verify the email pretty much, and then you can add it to uh, profile mate which is really easy to do and then once you've done that it's going to look like this this is my dud instagram account just to show you what it looks like it's this here it's brand new it's got nothing on it whatsoever um, brand spanking new and i've been using this all day which is really exciting and once that's all done then we can actually go ahead and start finding some people to get some information from now in this step what i recommend you do is think about all the types of people you're actually trying to look for right for this example what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pretend i'm in an affiliate market all right and i'm thinking about promoting some sort of paleo um, type of offer right so what i can do is i can go into instagram and what i can do is type in paleo because i'm looking for some sort of paleo uh, big account and if i see right at the top here we've got paleo grubs which is talking about paleo diet recipes now this is an example you can use the same sort of strategy for any niche in the world right so once I go to this account, you see it's got a nice healthy amount of followers, which is 250,000. Uh, we're not really too worried about the amount of posts or following, but um, it's a good sign that I've got 250K. Now, if you want to get the highest engaged people and you want to get their information, what you actually want to do is find a post with a lot of engagement. So right here, we've got this one here. It's got um, 1,573 likes, 21 comments, which is really nice. If we keep coming through, these are the types of posts that we're really looking for. Um, for this example, I think I will just go with, um, we'll go with this one here. This one looks pretty interesting. So basically what you want to do once you pull up this page, um, 
so it's got almost 1200 likes is you want to grab the url in the address bar now you might not be able to see it on this video as it's just above the cutoff line but basically all you want to do is uh, highlight the entire thing and press copy then once you have that you want to come back into profile mate and you want to press um paste so what sorry what we want to do is press find users come down to specific posts which is like as commenters you see the other ones are here too um, very good for locations and hashtags for this specific example it's all the same process um, we'll just use the specific post so i'm going to paste it in like so i'm going to turn off commenters because sometimes you know people just get their friends to comment some crap in there and they're not actually genuinely interested um, so what i've done is just turned off the commenters press submit and then it'll what it'll do is actually it'll go through and get a list of all the people that have commented it. Now, if I look how many people there are, they're 11.99, and Profile Mate should get majority of them. So it's got 11.80. It um, means 19 of them have either like shut down their accounts or they're private or something like that. So once this step is done, um, what we can actually do is download the likers. Then you'll have a nice list of likers here, uh, which we can use. Then the second step, what we do is actually go to email extractor, right? And press OK once that pops up. Once we do that, we want to open up the list of people that we have just downloaded. It's just going to take a second. And here we have it. If you scroll right down to the bottom, as you can see, it's got all of the 1180 in there, um, which is really nice. And basically what you want to do is just click on the top one, um, come right down to the bottom one, and depending on what, uh, program that you have here it could be um, numbers for Apple or um, it could be you know Excel or something like that you want to highlight all of them and then you want to come back into profile mate and you just want to dump these all in and press submit now for this example I'm actually just going to get a, a lower amount so instead I've decided to get uh, a few hundred from 100 to 400 because I've actually um, done these a few times already um, I'm going to copy these drop these into my um, my amount here as you can see I've got 301 entered which is cool I'm going to press submit and now you want to label it as to what you want your CSV download to be called right so I'm just going to call this lacquers of um, paleo grubs and I'm just going to put 400 so I know which list this is so I'm going to press set and now it's going to open up this little box here and this box is going to let you know of all the things that can actually scrape off Instagram. Now keep in mind the more that you add the slower it's going to be because it's got obviously got more things to add. So what I'm going to do is just remove the ones that I don't necessarily need. Now depending on what you're doing if it's for local marketing you might want things like phone numbers, you might want things like um, websites, you want, might want business accounts, all of that sort of stuff. It's entirely up to you and what your idea is for actually using the software. Um, for this example because because I don't want to slow you guys down too much. What I'm going to do is just have these two, which is public email and city. City being because um, I'm just curious to see where these people live. So I'm going to click next. And now as you can see, the process has started. We've got 300 total people entered. Um, so far it's gone through 20. We've had three business accounts and two of those business accounts have had emails. So if you think back to Instagram, if you have a business account, you can actually list an email address. Um, sometimes on your personal profile, you can as well. You can make it public. Um, so what it's doing is it's finding all of these emails and then it's adding them into a CSV. Now, if we scroll to the bottom, um, you can see it's got all of these different ones here, which is all of the accounts it's going through. So it's cool. Basically, you just let it do its magic. And once it's gone through the whole 300, um, it'll have everything ready for you. Now, a bit of a pro tip before I carry on. This is going to be running as fast as it can for this particular process. But one little trick you can do is actually open multiple tabs. So let's just say you wanted to get as much information as possible as fast as you can. What you can do is just open five tabs or 10 tabs, whichever you want to have. And you can put all your targeting in and it's going to go ahead and start scraping all of the stuff. So keep that in mind. Now, if we scroll down a little bit here, we have got this little filter section. Now, what this is actually going to do is it's going to allow you to take certain data from the data scraped, right? So if I only wanted to get accounts with a following um, greater than X, or if I wanted to have accounts only with post amount of X, you know, you can choose it in here. But basically, all I need from here for my personal reasoning is the email address. So I'm just going to go ahead and click yes on is there an email. 
And what it's going to do is it's going to filter it. Now down here we have two more options, download full data in CSV. Basically it's going to bypass all of this, while download conditional data in CSV is only going to take the ones that we've selected. So we're actually on the last account now. We've gone through 300 accounts. We've got 24 public emails, which is really cool. As you've seen, it's taken less, less than a couple of minutes. You know, it's been absolutely amazing. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is show you what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and click download conditional data. And in an instant, you can see we've got a brand new CSV downloaded. And if I opened it, um, here we have the public email addresses, right? So that's really cool. Um, it's got the usernames, the full names, it's got the link to their account, and it's also got their account IDs. Most importantly, though, we now have their emails. So what you would do from here, um, if you are if you want to you know, do cold email marketing, you could then upload these into a software like Snowvio, um, something like that, Limlist, or even an autoresponder. You can upload it in there, create automated uh, email marketing campaigns. Of course, if you are going to do this, guys, please make sure that you do things in a nice way. Start with value, so give them stuff for free before trying to spam them with offers. Um, that's what sort of breaks the internet around just spamming you with stuff. A um, whole lot of crap out there, but give them lots of value. And then if they're interested, then they can always come to um, your good email list, if that makes sense. The really powerful thing with this though, is if you do decide to um, use this in a big way, you can actually create a lookalike audience on Facebook. So basically what you could do is I could scrape all of the 250,000 people on Paleo Grubs, I can upload them to Facebook in a custom audience, and then I can create a lookalike audience on there. Basically what that's doing is it's finding similar people who are interested in this particular brand right so not only can you target their audience but you can also target people that are similar to them and instantly you can have a laser targeted audience that you can pitch your um, paleo stuff to for this example hope that makes sense um, but basically that's the gist of it if you're interested in like getting some more uh, details about it what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump behind the screen now and tell you how you can get that Okay, so that was Profile Mate. As you can see, it's extremely powerful. There isn't really too much to it. It's so easy to use. And the best thing about it is at the moment, it's only $67 per month and it's a one-time fee. You can get unlimited access to this uh, particular software. Now, there are some upgrades when you first initially get started. Um, there is some things like some more one-on-one -on -one training. There is also an option to get more searches per day. At the moment, I believe there's around 2,000, but you can actually scale that to 10,000. Um, it is going to be a little bit more expensive i think it's another 47 dollars. i'm not exactly sure i'll leave some more information below this video but if you want to get it um all of that's there to have just make sure you go click on the link in the description and i'm actually going to give you some extra bonuses now the bonuses what i'm going to be talking about mainly about email marketing for cold emails so everything i talked about in there about giving value before you start pitching offers that sort of thing i'm going to put a training in about that finding good offers to actually pitch these people that's exactly what you're going to see also in the training and finally, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about Facebook in there as well. So if you want to make the most out of the software and you want to get some bonus training, make sure you use the link in the description. Apart from that, that is Profile Mate. It's a powerful tool. I'm going to be using this a lot in the near future. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more epic videos. I've got a lot of big things coming out and I've actually created some uh, freebies that I want to give to you. So make sure you look in the description as well. I've left some links into that. Apart from that, guys, thanks for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.